Hi everybody. I am sitting here on Tuesday evening. It was a whopping 6 degrees when I got up this morning. I live in the mid-Atlantic. Um, I think it's 15 degrees now, but it's uh, so cold there is no phone service, no internet service, no cable service. Um, so what's a girl to do but sit down and do a little crafting? Oh, darn! <laughs> um, so I decided to, um, oh, I'm sorry about that, to make a little something um, to participate in Jeanette's um, 5,000 subscriber um, challenge and giveaway. Um, Jeanette is Scrap and Happy XO. Is it XOXO? But Scrap and Happy XO at least. And she wanted participants to make a, um, a page for um, a lace fabric book. And she had actually done something with a group of friends of hers um, where, where it was a circle of friends who each contributed a page to the book. She, so she wanted to do something like that for this challenge, which I thought was a really cool idea. And I um, haven't done anything like this before, so I figured I would give it a shot. That's the challenge for me. And Jeanette, many congratulations on your 5,000 subscribers. Um, like I commented to you, I am totally not surprised. I mean, your videos are just so awesome. The, the projects that you share and you're such a sweetheart and j just a very genuine person and that comes through on your videos. And um, so I did want to do this to participate and help you celebrate that awesome milestone. Um, so what I did is I took a piece of um, vintage cotton and um, grabbed some laces and doilies and when I was putting it together I decided I would do a pocket page. It's not just one pocket. This is a pocket. This is a pocket. This is a pocket. And this is a pocket. So because we always need pockets to put, put our little bits in. Um, so the laces that I used, um, this this one is a piece from Trezor Deluxe um, from an order that I got from them, or, we, or ordered from them. And I just cut out some little bits from the uh, Graphic 45 Katora collection, just so you can see that things actually do slip into the pockets. Um, this piece is from a vintage doily that I had, Battenberg lace one. And pocket. Um, this is a piece, um, a very small piece from um, a piece of lace that Maggie uh, Margaret White sent me and a rack. Thank you, Maggie. And this is um, just a, a piece of um, eyelet that I had in my stash. Just did a very simple single doily flower in one of the little centers that I make because she didn't want bulky pages. Oh, let me slip that in, the, in its pocket. And I'll slip that in its pocket. So there's four little pockets in there. And then this is a, is a little snippet um, from some lace that Trisha, a little shabby sheet, gave me. Thank you, sis. And this is also from that same piece. And all of them, all the pieces are hand sewn on. Um, I figured since I was doing pockets, I didn't want to glue them in, in case they were handled a fair amount. And then... Uh, you can choose if you want that little flap to sit over the doily or the doily to sit on top of it. So there's a little flexibility with that. And, um, and I, it wasn't a requirement, but Jeanette, since I have never done one of these before, I did leave you a little bit of a seam allowance um, 
on all the edges so you can decide if you want this to go left side, right side. Um, tried to do it so that it would work either way. Um, and if you don't need the seam allowance, then obviously just trim it off. But since this might fray a little bit too, I figured it would be a good idea to do that. So I'll just take these out so I can hold it up and you can look at it in full. Now these pages are only supposed to be four inches by six inches. So that was a little bit of a challenge too, trying trying to keep it small and still have it pretty and also functional. So um, what she's actually going to do with these for the, um, the, I don't know if you would call it a grand prize winner, is to um, put them all together in a book or two books or however many it depends on how many entries she actually gets um, but put them in a book um, for and she'll do a drawing for the winner so and I just think that's so awesome what a great idea definitely different and um, thank you Jeanette for having this challenge and for giving me the opportunity to create something that I haven't done before and many congratulations on your 5,000 subbies and I will leave a link to Jeanette's um, challenge video down below um, definitely do go and check her out I'm sure you're all familiar with her because she is just she's awesome um, so there it is and thank you all so much for watching I'm gonna find something else to get myself into because it's still fairly early in the evening and I'm not going to be able to upload this yet. <laughs> so um, hopefully see you soon. Till then, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.